Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to Kaiser Redux. I'm your host, Mr. America Lover. And right now, we have Freedom Nurtured. Many have recently considered the U.S. of A. a lost cause. Even the president himself had such thoughts with his victory in 1936. However, through the good and the bad of Hoover's third term, he has guided the nation away from the cliffs and saved American democracy, the republic, and American society itself. Washington's politics is beginning to change as Hoover's popularity soars, and the paradigm of American politics is changing as many attempt to find their place in the new America. We thank you, Mr. Hoover, even though we gave you two terms as, pre as president and you did... Absolutely nothing to help out America, supposedly, according to the people. Uh, and then we elected you for a third term for some reason, and within two years you cleaned up your act. Go figure. But the future of the Republican Party? Ever since the progressive split and Wilson's victory in 1912, the Republican Party has been on the losing side of American politics. Their best attempt to regain the White House has been met with failure with Hoover's victory in 28, however. There was a reversal in the party's fortunes. In the years after that election, the Republican Party once again began to lose favor as people turned against the party and blamed Hoover for the Depression in some cases. With his victories in 1932 and 1936, it destabilizing the country once again, everyone, including President Hoover himself, thought that the Union was done. However, America was not done, and President Hoover, along with the supporters in the cabinet, the Congress, and the military, were able to turn the crisis around within two years. Now the question is, what will the, become of the Republican Party? The American centrism must be maintained... The American workers should be our first priority. Um, you get more social liberalism and a lot more social democracy. Okay, so we got a couple of comments uh, from the last episode. Uh, let's see. So, apparently, when I did Beacon Democracy, or when I, when I will do it, which it'll bet you bypass, someone, I did ask you guys yesterday whether I did this before. I have done Republicans elected before. I played as the Pacific States of America, and I went down this route, I believe, with Ho uh, Howard Hughes. Spoiler alert. But, oh well. Um, so, I don't want to go down this route again, because I've already done it once. So, I really don't want to do it again, because we've done it once. So, we'll see. Social liberals, we might go social liberals, we might go social democrats. I know I said in the last episode that I wanted us to um, stay as market liberal as possible, but at this point, like, I don't want to do the exact same thing as I did last time. So, let's just go with, let's see, social democracy, social conservatism, paternal autocracy, and oh, American centrism must be maintained. Something nice like that. But we're currently doing what focus? Ah, American Army Reform Debate. Uh, I think I read this one, but the question of the hour, which direction should the U.S. Army take to not only respond, but anticipate a prolonged land war? The opinion of MacArthur is a given, having already prepared for this conflict within his inner circle. And right now, we've already gone with Pennsylvania's Railroad, which we love Pennsylvania's Railroad. Wow, look at all the stuff we have here. Oh, I love it when the devs put in such unique things here, at least icon-wise and uh, stats-wise, too. Infantry stuff. Um, El Presidio. That's kind of cool. I like the flag of Spain, it looks like. Browning is awesome. Marlin. Seven drums. What are we currently doing? We're going down. The integrated support for superior firepower. So, it just seems like we should go with more superior firepower then. But lots of arty. Wow, look at all the stuff we have down here. I want to choose someone I never choose. Uh, American Motors Corporation. Sounds kind of cool. That's something I'd never choose. Um, Nash Motors. The Ma Marmon Harrington. Uh, let's see. Artillery. Rock Island. I think I've chosen artillery before. Art oh, we have... Four artilleries, car and foundry. That's cost, soft attack and breakthrough. Waterville left arsenal. American car and foundry, the Akaf? Ak Akaf. You know what? I've never seen this one. I think I want to go with this one. Just, let's go with Waterville. Oh, actually, can we do this one first? No, we cannot. That kind of sucks. Okay. Something different, right? Cool. Awesome. And we're, of course, still trying to help out down here in Spain because we love the Spanish, too. Um, are we winning or losing here? And Edwin here is doing a pretty good job overall. I'd say pretty good. Are we losing? Yes, we are. Not yes, we are. All right, just kind of hang out. Break, break, those guys, the fate of the Socialist Party of America. The Socialist Party of America having the credibility destroyed by the House of Un-American Activities and the failures of the party nationally is dying. The party leadership has decided to preserve whatever remaining influence they have left and join the Republican Party. Progressives and Socialists, how fitting. If they can't beat them, join them. Cool. And we've got some more comments to go through, but let's enjoy this for now, and we'll get some some comments in just a little bit. Or, or we're going to do it right now. Um, someone wants me to go down American imperialism uh, over here on this right side. Well, we cannot this campaign because we're not authoritarian Democrats. We're not paternal autocrats or national populists, so even though James Murray would be a lot of fun. And I didn't realize you can get Strom Thurmond, too, but we can't go down that route for now. I know, to the disappointment of some, 
but it is what it is. The fate of the old Democratic Party. The party has suffered as, as of late, being attacked by the House of Un-American Activities, receiving bad publicity, and experiencing failures nationally. The party has entered into talks to slowly reintegrate and eventually join up with the Democratic Party. Only time will tell how long this establishment party can work with such anti-establishment candidates. Lindbergh has finally returned to the fold. Old Democrats return to the party. Um, I'll go old Democrats. Why not? Are we actually Hellenic? Oh, and everyone's killing each other already, so. It is what it is, and I ask, did ask you guys yesterday. Ooh, Fate of the American First Party. The America First Party suffered as of late, of course, blah, blah, blah. If you want to do this again, please go right ahead. We're going to join with the Democrat Party. Populists and Democrats sound familiar. Cool, so I did ask you guys yesterday whether we should go with Chaffee's reform plan, Leslie McNair's reform plan, Mail and Craig's reform plan, or go with Big Mac Daddy. And overall, you guys recommended... We do Adna Chaffee's reform plan, so that is the way we'll go. Mullis recipient Adna Chaffee Jr. proposed that the Army step up and produce more expensive and armored vehicles, as well as plan out new specialized division uh, to complement a more mobile war, a fourth party system preserved. Since McKinley's victory over William Jennings Bryan in 1896, we've been stuck with the after effects of his victory and the progressive era. What was shown in this era was that third parties can not only just survive in American politics, but it can thrive in some cases such as the Progressive Party. With Hoover's decision to attempt to hold the Republican Party in the center of American politics, not leaning for the right or left, the Progressive and Democratic parties have filled those niches for the party. It seems this era of three parties, one left wing, one right wing, one another advocating centrism in American politics, will go on longer. Glory to the system of 1896. Ah, more radicalism. Yay! Hmm, it is 38, eh, but it's almost 39, but whatever. If that's the case, you guys are fine. At this point, just put you guys up in half. There you go. That's way we'll just do it like this. Hopefully, actually, you know what? Mexico exists, and we gotta put you on the board with Mexico then. It's not an American campaign until you take out Mexico. Just saying. We love the Mexicans here, but... It's it's America campaign, so. Alright. Are you beating these guys up? I know it's over a river, but beat them up back. So over this one, modernized cavalry tactics. Actually, that wouldn't be bad to do, just because uh, we could use this for quite a while to modernize them. It was apparent from our observers in the Valkyrie that new tactics and technologies are becoming vital on the battlefield. Bearing this in mind, it's no wonder General Chaffee has seen fit to readily distribute new manuals specifying how to use and counter armored advances as the old counter cavalry counter cavalry tactics grew outdated. Also, oh, fourth party system uh, re restored. Fruits of the open door. We no longer have the Great Depression. Like, it just disappeared or something. Oh, hello. Good luck, guys. You're going to lose. <laughs> but yeah, uh, we're, we're churning along a lot of factories now. A lot. And as one of you guys, actually quite a few guys did say in the comments below, yeah, without, like, if we don't go to Civil War, like, we get, uh, we get very strong. We become very, very strong. I'm just here to help out, man. I'm just here to help out. Cool. Other comments include, uh, let's see. Someone wants me to go with this here focus called the Empire. Just go Empire, American Empire. Well, the only one I can find that is the American Empire is like under American imperialism, sort of, with the Western Empire. So we'll see what happens. Um, I haven't made a decision yet. Well, actually, I know which way we're going, but I'll tell you guys a little bit where we're going to do moralism or new interventionism, but I don't feel like doing it yet. Eventually. Eventually. Cool. All right. Let's get some better guns. Us Americans love, love, love guns. M1 Johnson's. Is that like a jumbo gun? NAACP and FBI defamed socialists. During the 30s, a large part of the NAACP's activities were taken up by litigation in favor of the African American rights. This was due to the retreating strength of the black vote and the diminishing ability of African Americans to reach office after Plessy v. Ferguson. This avenue was also pursued by the Syndicalist Alliance International Labor Defense, who countered the NAACP for a decade in competition for the hearts of black voters. Seeing no other option, being unwilling to ever compromise the socialists, NAACP leader uh, Walter Francis Wise decided to cooperate with the FBI in an anti-socialist public relations campaign. Whether this truly motivates civil rights or further dilutes the current remains to be seen. I'm no judge, man. I ain't a judge. Not bad. Oh, even the Irish are down here. Wow. Everyone's in Spain. Including a lot of the Canadians. <laughs> awesome, awesome, awesome. And let's go ahead and choose this one over here. Because getting land auction stuff uh, done is great. Great, great. Follow it up. All right. Uh, we can keep going down this way. I'm going to wait. We're going to be fielding, hopefully, a lot of tanks. Actually, I think that's what we'll do next. Let's field a lot of tanks. Lots of, um, being tanks. But back in business. The nation has seen some troubles with that cannot act as an international power. Not as it deserves to be, but now that has changed, America's ready to re-enter the world stage. Because I'd love to get rid of this thing. We need more than 75% war support, or be at war, so either one. Happy in 1939, let's get some more construction speed. We're going to need that, and I just said we need to get something else, but I can't remember. Um, just in case, hang out around Madrid. 
I don't want to lose this division, so. Good luck, boys. Ah, look at this. The War Department relocates to the Navy, main Navy and Munitions Building. With the Department of State leaving almost no room for the War Department to go near the White House, the Secretary of War has authorized the War Department to move it to a different location, speci specifically an ammo warehouse provided by the Navy. However, the warehouse is still too small to hold the ever-growing War Department, with a new wing having been ordered to be constructed to accommodate newly employed staff. And we estimate that we need a larger structure to consolidate 24,000 workers and offices scattered around 17 separate sites, as well as a possible additional 10,000 or more new workers that we're planning to include soon as their nation falls into conflict into into conflict, into conflict, into conflict, after conflict. Tell the prison we need more space. This is very un-American. 24 dot thousand? I mean, come on, man. 24 dot? I thought this was America. We use comments for that. But what's one more term? With two presidents breaking the two-term tradition in the U.S. in only the past three years, many are now fearful that too many presidents have gone this route. Worse, they feel that the U.S. will lose the two-term tradition. A tradition that was sagely established by George Washington entirely. Pressured to be the nominee of the Republican Party in 1936 by its conservative wing and having raised his popularity with the public to heights not seen since his victory in 28, Hoover has done what no other man could achieve. Through having solved the political and economic crises that has built up for the past 15 years, he's become America's savior. The path is now open to him to continue to defy tradition and run for, one more, for more terms or to retire. If people want me, who am I to resist? I broke tradition, I won't break it further. Hmm... Well, I mean, he is a market liberal, and we do want to keep moving on. Um, we, I, I, As much as I want to do more market liberal stuff, it just, I don't want to do this one, so. Well, we might just go social conservative, maybe, I don't know. Social democracy, maybe. There's a lot of other options for social democrats and social liberals here, so we'll see. Uh, I won't break it further. Let's do that one. We gotta run someone else. We got a lot of pee-pee, man. Um, someone else that we don't normally choose. Glenn Martin. Convair. Douglas. Hughes Vaught. Um, Grumman Bell. Consolidated Fighters. Great Lakes Aircraft. That's something I know almost never really usually choose. Spartan Aircraft sounds like a lot of fun. Eh, I don't know. I'll just use Spartans, I guess. Why not? South Carolina class. All right, not bad, not bad. Back in business will be next, as we're hopefully getting a lot of air XP. Oh, we can't send all these guys over here, so so be it. We'll send about you guys back then, because I've actually been training a lot of guys over here too. So, unfortunate. This part of Spain is going to lose so badly. Cool, and see, so it's like I said earlier, the stone said that no civil war makes the U.S. very strong. Someone recommends we try out the Commonwealth of West Africa and play, and do that to play as Iberia. Uh, let's see, what else? Orb Trout, Millennium Dawn. Um, I already did the middle route, route under democracy. Cool, we already went through most of the comments. Cool. McNair's report on the state of the army. Under the high command's orders, General McNair's compiled a report of all the major flaws our army possesses at the moment that we need to solve. If we wish to prevail against our enemies in the civil war. Or, no civil war. The major summary sent to the War Department lists the following issues. 1. Obviously deficient training of all small units in minor tactics. 2. Faulty employment of the infantry division and its combat teams. 3. Full, failure fully to appreciate the purpose of motor vehicles and exploit their capabilities. 4. Inadequate reconnaissance and lack of contact between adjacent units. 5. Inadequate support of infantry by division artillery. 6. Faulty signal communication. 7. Too passive employment of anti-tank guns. 8. Improper employment of horse cavalry. 9. Neglect of ammo supply and evacuation of wounded. 10. Unreal situations due to faulty up umpiring. In the same manner, other issues have been brought up by the other officers in which they include shortages of qualified staff officers and commanders to fill all the staff roles and deficiencies in individual training that would delay the effectiveness of unit training. We have to reform if we wish to prevail. Yep, got to reform. And that's A-OK -okay with us. You know what, just take Madrid, please, just take Madrid, just end this. I don't want to lose this division. Harding's done a great job, but I don't want to lose the division, man. Alright, uh, the Australian guard, well, we're going over here then. We're going to hang out, let these guys get attacked, and we'll capitulate this group, and we'll do okay. Ah, see, now they're getting attacked, that's nice. Alright, so overall, oh, look at this. Urban Hoover, you changed. He's a pop. He's actually a really popular president. Look at that. Weekly stability, political power, resource efficiency gain, consumer goods goes down, the grand old man. Maybe I should have just kept him here. Holy crap, Savior of America. I should have kept him. Ah, who cares? Whatever. Okay, so overall, uh, between there, we can do numeralism versus new interventionism, and overall, there was more support for 
new interventionism, which is what we're going to do next. We can no longer keep our heads in the sand if we're to protect democracy. The Entente are indeed our only true liberal friends in this world, and we must help them reassert their place under the sun. Nice. I'd love to help out, guys, but it just ain't in the cards right now. Oh, now they're attacking us. This should be the last little state that they need to take from Spain to capitulate them. Ah, oh, Canada. Even your tanks can't pierce our booties. And they're gone. Oh, Canada. Oh, Canada. Oh, Canada, 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 Canada. And some new generals. Samantha the butler? Ah, you're not fighting us this time. Oh, I'm going to send you somewhere else. Lucian Truscott, it doesn't matter about horses. And y'all, Walter Cougar. Walter Cougar. Omar Bradley, we like Omar. Good general, good general. Uh, go Fortress Buster. And we're building up some more stuff here, too. We've been building up roads, which is pretty pretty nice. And a great sport's very good. Let's grab some regimental combat teams. Can we send anyone else over here? Um, who are you fighting against? Uh, no. They, oh, they're not at war. Man, you are smoking a, a long ciggy a, a, a cigar, my friend. Ah, they're killing each other over there. Nice. All right, we get one and a half political power every single day. Jesus Christ. Um, who else are we going to choose around here? Hmm, who are we going to choose? Who are we going to choose? Armor? Um, if for carriers, you really want a bigger deck size. So, ship stuff, small ships, cruiser, cruiser, capital ships, deck size. Oh, that's really good. U.S. Naval Academy. I mean, that makes sense. That really just makes sense to do. After that, Entente Alliance, longer reach. Well, we have to be at war. And I would like to go to war pretty, actually, immediately. So, hmm. Anti-imperialism, American isolationism. Ground, direct ground support's not too bad either. Let's grab some better stuff here first, though. We got a, na a lot of naval XP. Alright, let's send you guys home. And repair. Five more destroyers, so be it. We can afford to get a lot of this stuff, too. There you go. Uh, let's do the Dutch. Nice. Nice, keep making a lot of stuff, guys. A lot, a lot of stuff. Loads of goods. We're gonna use a lot of light tanks. We need to research some planes and tanks. Mostly just tanks right now. Because I because I did say I want a lot of them, so. Working on it, working on it, working on it. Oh. There you go. 31. Holy crap. Irish flirting with American businesses. Oh boy. We received news today that the Irish are doing their best to promote a newly modernized Dublin that is a prosperous center of trade and finance. Several of our leading industrial companies have been contacted. It has been suggested that we have the second Melbourne uprising, but also suggested that we encourage them to set up shop in the Irish capital. We will naturally reap some of the profits of this arrangement, which could be pro profitable in the long run. Of course, it will be even more beneficial for the Irish. The Irish are our friends, of course we will allow them. American business should stay American. Well, we're going to probably... Are they in the Reichs Pact? No, they're not. They're kind of in themselves. We have less barriers to goods. Rally public support. And we are... Market libs. Alright. Czechia is doing really quite well. Hmm. I think we really do. We just want to get involved. I want to get rid of isolationism. But the victory book campaign? Um, yeah, I won't get rid of this. We're joining the Entente immediately. We need to ally the Entente, our brethren in the capitalist democracy, against extremists and hostile imperial forces that will threaten us both. When we help them take back the home island, cynicalism will be destroyed and there will be a buffer zone. Might as well. As thousands of new recruits flood into training camps across the country, community librarians have recognized an opportunity to lend their support to our government. Individual libraries sponsored book drives to donate to their local military bases. In the last, last few months, members of the American Library Association met to discuss a plan for the coordinated nationwide drive to supply the troops with three books. The ALA presented their idea to the United States organizations and the Red Cross, who have received their idea enthusiastically and begun setting up more than 400 recreational clubs on the outskirts of military camps. The Red Cross wanted books to send to military hospitals, remove camps with no libraries, their overseas clubs, and prisoners of war. The two organizations decided to split the project's funding while the ALA provided technical know-how and both began campaigning for governmental approval. While our military is reluctant of accepting donated books, there's a real need for entertainment of our soldiers, for soldiers in the field, and Army High Command decided to give its approval to the project. Let's hope our soldiers enjoy it. Nice. And we will enter the fray as soon as we can. Let's do a uh, long reach, not yet. Ooh, must get to the alliance, the Entente, broadside stuff. We can wait for that one. Uh, let's do anti syndicalist alignment. Syndicalism is a major threat to our country in the recent crisis. While we, of course, do not support imperialism, there is no negotiating with syndicalist powers. We will take a strong anti syndicalist stance and warn syndicalist nations of standing against us or keeping the government in the process of doing so. Nice. And we got more PP. Great tank stuff. Uh, Caterpillar. They do tanks? Bantman. Ban ba Batman? No. No. Not, not quite Batman. Um, Packard. Doris. Locomotive. Dodge. Fisher. Tanks. Stutes? General Motors, GM, huh? Forward. More heart attack and armor. You know, that's something I probably would never do. 
heart attack and armor. That's something I never do. I'm going to do something different. Something I never do. Let's do that one. Chaff, you're organized with com uh, combat commands. Uh, I think I've already read this one before, but... There's a concept Chaffee first envisaged during his development of mechanized tactics in the early 30s was one where he combined arms and mechanized units would possess no formal structure. In order to present his idea more coherently to high command, he's recently written the Armed Forces Tentative Table of Organization, or the Combat Command, as he describes it. Should be flexible organization that should have not that should not have dedicated battalions. Instead, tank armored infantry and armored field artillery battalions, as well as smaller units of tank destroyers, engineers, and mechanized cavalry have to be assigned as needed in order to accomplish any given mission. To achieve this, he wishes to split the armored division into the command uh, combat commands named A for the main force, B for flank defense, and R for reserve units. While well, this concept is clearly inspired by the German Kampfgruppe concept, high command re received his idea with open arms and are starting to implement the new organization systems across the board as well as distributing the new manuals to the field officers. It seems that studying the Germans is paid off. I'm sorry if I'm speaking correctly, just we're playing as America and you get me all excited playing in America while we're improving ourselves. Hey, Spanish Civil War is over. The Kingdom of Spain has one. Uh, well, whatever. French assistance. Um, actually, can we help you guys? We actually should be able to help you, right? Because you're in the Entente, so we're going to be beating up Gandhi. So be it. How many planes can we send these good people? All right, and go over here too. Wait, what did I always say? What we wanted to do? Tanks, tanks, tanks. I gotta get tanks first. Tanks, 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 tanks. What are we doing? Thomas the tank. We can send a total of 308 planes. Very, very nice. Any other planes around here? Yes, ish. 100. Come to India. I don't know if you'll actually have enough reach for this, but whatever. And we have some, a lot more planes too, other than this. Yeah, whatever. 100, and then we'll send you and you, maybe? That's a lot of... Hmm. Send the medium bombers. Send them over to you. Because you at least have some range. Ah, are you guys over here? No? Ah, are you over here? Yes. You guys over there, but I'm going to actually send you guys this way, too. Just in case. Cool. On time to line, my friends. Keep building, boys. Keep building, building, building. Cool. Making loads of cities. 370 is not enough. Um, minus one is still more than fine. Five days left. That's pretty good. All right. Is anyone over here yet? Nope. Harding's learning a lot. Going all around the world, man. And uh, anti syndicalist alignment. Nice. Oh, we can just join him immediately. Can I? Oh, yeah. We're, yeah. Who's, who cares about doing that stuff? We're just going to send everyone we can. Um, it is 39. Let's grab some of that, too. Cool, cool, cool. We are at war, finally, my friends, which means we should be able to eventually go up. Yep. Partial mobilization. Thank you very much. Yep. Uh oh. Everyone, everybody, about that, please go right ahead. I don't want to click on that too fast. We're going to invest 50 PP. That's fine. I want to get as much influence as we can in there. Um, we can send guys over. Everyone who about that, please go ahead. Uh, consumer goods would be not too bad. Construction speed, though. Even 20% more construction speed. Consumer goods factory is already pretty good. I want to be able to produce faster. Leave the IEDC. Probably not. Join the ISAC. Yeah, that'd be good. Work with these guys. That wouldn't be too bad. How is air speed already doing here? We're still getting some more. That's nice. Um, that's not bad. We're working on some of this stuff still. This stuff is all okay for now. Naval doctrine really should start doing that. We should really, really start doing that stuff. Just because uh, we have more than enough naval stuff. So we should be okay. And by the second episode, we're already at war. Go figure. Just an American thing to do. Hey, oh, okay. Spain, the one we were fighting, joined us too. Look how happy Edwin is. He's like, yeah, cool. Can I actually send you guys over? I can, you know, I want to send you guys over. Whatever divisions we have. 20 Arties? Um, yeah, those are all right. Uh, actually, I don't want you. Sorry. Give me you. You're done. Actually, don't even make them. We'll make some other divisions, too. 
Um, in the meantime, I want you guys to come over to India. See what you can do. I want you to help out. We're going to send the subs this way, too. Albania's gone. Good luck, guys. Good luck. Hope we're going to get a lot more air XP this way. Not bad. All right, so after this one, I do want to go down and line on the right side here. Uh, Air Force debate, we'll do that one later on. We're going to we get to support New Mexico, but we can't really. But we're going to avenge Mexican crimes. For decades, America has been invaded by the rogue state of Mexico. It's time to avenge the crimes the rogue syndicalist state has committed on our innocent civilians to Moctezuma. Montezuma. Yes, please. Eventually, we're not going to do that immediately because we got we need some more time to really build up a few more divisions here. Douglas MacArthur, of course, is leading the way. Grills of Soldier, yes, please. And uh, that's fine for now. Uh, you know what? Like I said, screw it. Just keep making them. Just keep making as many as you can. It's going to take some serious time for our guys to get over there, but that's okay. We're doing a good amount of damage, though, which is pretty nice. And there goes Italy. It, they exploded. All right, so now we're at war. Let's go jump to ooh, at least the land economy. Now let's keep building, 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 building. We ain't done yet. We ain't nowhere close to being done yet. Let's go th throw three more on for now. Pennsylvania, West Virginia, Kentucky. Nice. The faster we can win these wars, the better. Actually, what's a faction map mode? A lot of Ottomans are having a bad time, but what else is new? Grab some mechanized offensives. Entente's looking really great down here. If I was a third international, I probably wouldn't be feeling too good. Eurasian block, of course, as well. Did you guys die in the water yet? Oh, you're going the long way. You're going the ultra super mega long way. Oh, you're going both. Both. Okay, that's not really smart, but whatever. I lose them divisions, whatever. It happens. All right, now we're just kind of let town go on. Um, Banana republics. Stop southern syndicalism. I don't mind doing that one. But I think I want to do Banana and Republics because we technically did already dominate Central America, but they kind of liberated themselves from us, and I don't like that. So you've got some really great facial hair, Jose, uh, dude. He's got some really good facial hair. So I definitely want to do some Banana and Republics. In Central America, break companies have gone to jungle to further elevate our brothers in revolution. They will help develop the poverty-ridden lands of Central America. We must fully support this endeavor in whatever way they need. Can you make it more millies, boys? Oh, we got enough trucks now. Nice. Uh, we'll probably go down by three. We're going to need a lot more rubber. If that's the case... Oh, we don't have synthetic refineries. God dang it. We need more research slots. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Wait, are you literally just going to be... Where are you? Okay, so you're... you're going to... You are... Why did you stop... I guess you wanted to take a break in Africa, but you're still... Mo Why are you going that way, man? I don't understand. Oh, we're finding convoys. That would be pretty nice. How about y'all come over here first? Let them all come over here. Uh, tanks. Yeah, we should probably start developing more tanks. Avenge Mexican crimes. Good, good, good. Do I have Diaz and Howard's down there too? Banana Republics. Followed up with Slovenia? No. Sphere of influence? We could do that. But well, Western Empire immediately. Uh, I want to wait, maybe. Just because we do get more market liberalism a little bit later. Uh, on the beaches, Anton Alliance. We are at war technically, so... It's lagging super, super, extremely hard right now. What's going on? It's already September 7th, 1939. And World War II, the Vel second Valkyrie hasn't begun yet. What is Syndicalist France doing? Oh, there goes Austria. Oh, they're already fighting them. Longer reach. If we are to protect or project our power onto the rest of the world, we must have achieved the ability to do so through our naval power. That's not too bad either. Oh, that's not bad. Our arsenal democracy. North Florida gets two more naval dockyards. Sounds pretty good to us. Oh, God. How did what? This is a very weird campaign. Oh, yep, they're a French puppet now. Third International. All right then. Revolt fails in Brazil. All right, so be it. Um, it is thirty-nine. We gotta grab this one. Attack. Oh, I like this one. Attack Mexico. Uh, you know what? That's actually okay with me. It's only ten political power cell. So. Eurasian block. So be it. War propaganda. That'd be nice. Let's send advisors to Canada. As agreed, the Canadians have already agreed to our offer, and the advisors are already in route. Work with French allies. We should use American know-how to aid our allies in the French national states, sending the much needed equipment and advisors. They said yes. Basically, got 25 plus uh, uh, political power. 
I couldn't think of the word for that for some god unknown reason. You're a little bit big there, but that's all right, man. You do you. The all six. There we go. All six. I made him. Po wait, Poland. What? What the? Poland, the fall of Rome. Um, second Bell Krieg. The world is at war once again. Nice. Well. All right. And which way is Mexico this time? Bunch of social democrats, huh? Ah, they're already in the third international. All right, it's good to know. Good to know. All right, so if we need you guys immediately back again, well, we'll call you up. There you go. We definitely don't have enough divisions yet for the border. Like that always happens. Motorized divisions, well, hmm. Cool. 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 Man, there's some serious lag here already. Oh, I'm not gonna like that. Oh, we're so close, so close. We're making 40 combo with. Still doing pretty well with their superiority here, though. It's doing pretty darn well. What's the casualties like? That's a lot of dead. That's a lot of dead, too. Ah, the world's on fire. And I got a big old board to deal with that down there in Germany. Uh, we're going to wait for that one because we want to do longer reach. Followed up with M M3 grants. Very nice. Artillery is looking a okay as well. It is almost 1940. Not yet, though. Extraction will be nice. Grab some better radar. Better this one. We will stabilize the east. We'll enter the fray, probably. Yeah, how about other guys? American war plans. America belongs on the world stage, and while we are hesitant to dr be drawn into foreign alliances, we will not hesitate to use our military might to stamp out threats around the world that will still eventually find us. Especially if we do nothing. Haiti Hilton. Ooh, subjugate Costa Rica. Actually, do we have an ex expiration on this war goal? No, so we should well do all these. Nice. There, do that one. Do five there. We do really need our own rubber. Jesus Christ. We definitely, definitely, definitely need our own. It's fine for now. Any other thing else here? I just don't think our armies are big enough. I mean, if anything, like, we could attack them, and they could, like, be baited into attacking us, but still. Uh, Craig, you did really great the other, day, the other time. Um, what if you guys stopped training? Could you guys actually win there? Maybe, maybe not. Uh, let's get some more planes in the field, if we can. Anything else? Plenty of fighters for now. Get some more casts, because we're going to need a lot of that. Uh, duplicate. Let them train for now, because our guys just need... We just need planes on them, so that'll be fine. Um, early mobilization, yes please. We're getting up for war. We're still building up a whole lot of stuff here. Lots and lots and lots and lots of stuff. Ruthenia, not bad. Oh, they went to war with Germany as well, so. March into Germany. Fine with us, don't really care. Bing bong. Very good. Long reach, very nice. So, are we actually over there yet, or what? No, you're, you're just not even going over there, are you? Oh, supply's so bad, you're not even going over there. Which actually makes sense, then. We can try that maybe. We wanna head on over and see what we can do? We'll try. We will go to World Mexico, just we just need to be stronger first. We're just not in a position yet to do so. Oh you have another upgrade? No, we'll wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for the next one. Alright, you guys are falling apart. Do we still get our rubber? We do, so we don't care. I'd love to attack here somewhere else. Long reach is nice. Let's go ahead and grab. There they go, end of the fray. They're also no democracy. All right, then. A good neighbor policy necessitates an internal program to ready arms for future conflicts. The arsenal of democracy, as the president calls it, will enable us to supply war material to even the hardest to reach places on the other continents in service of fire and tyranny and syndicalism. Nice. Uh, they want us to call, be called in the war, huh? Well, who are we fighting? Allies, uh... Oh! Oh, Mexico immediately. Okay. All right, so that's interesting. Well, then. We're definitely not ready for this, but whatever. Yeah, we're 100% not ready for this. Uh, I'm going to decline first. Get you guys over here, too. Alright, you guys are doing okay. We have one, two, three, four. That should be okay, right? Let them deploy. Let them get through all the... I guess healing, but I guess not. Okay. Get a lot of medium tanks. I want a lot of mediums. Of course, conscription crisis, crisis, crisis in Quebec. And we almost have 40 combat divisions ready to go. Actually, you can probably already go ahead and use them. Uh, you're done after you make that batch. 
There you go. Deploy him down there for now. Um, let's call on our guys here. Convert him immediately. I think we should have the resources for all this. You know what? Screw it. Make everyone, if you can, the same division. I don't want to be bothered with other types of divisions. There you go. Recruit. Just train him. We don't have nearly enough support equipment or Artie, but that's okay. Support equipment goes up. And Artie goes way, 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 way up. So now we're going to need to throw in like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Ish more. Give us a little bit more time, guys. We'll be fine. We'll do okay. I'd love to attack you. I just don't know if it would be possible. Supplies are really bad up here, too, so. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. As long as we're here to help hold the line, that's all I really care about. We barely have enough guns, too, so. We'll see. I just want to get a little bit of conflict, man. Can you four divisions do anything here, maybe? Probably not. They're really dug in. We're fighting over a river. Uh, how's air superiority? Oh, it's not good. It's not, it's not on, their, on their side. And we don't have the range for it, so. Actually, you might want to hold them. Actually, it doesn't look very good up there. Actually, if you guys want to come up here instead, that might actually be better. There you go. There you go. You might want to try that. Oh, they're actually taking down here, too. So they're in two-front war, while Jimmy's in two-front... Well, more like three-front war, sort of. Two-front-ish, three-front-ish war. It is what it is. We all know. Uh, oh, yeah. Partial mobilization. Thank you. End of the fray. Yes, please. And Arsenal democracy will be next. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. More war support will be nice, even though we don't really need it yet. Any other ships yet? Nope. And William D. Leahy. Leah? Leah? Leahy? Whatever. Um, capital ship attack. I like the attack. Oh, I want air controller as well, but we don't like so much marksman. Sustain. Uh, let's do safety first. I don't do crest magician just because I want to make sure if we get hit, we don't lose our ships. Chances of receiving critical hit goes down, but when we do, it's a 50% chance of the effects of sustained critical hits, or effects of the hits will actually go down, so. We won't be crippled nearly as much. Don't get me wrong, I do want to go to war with these guys, but we gotta wait. I mean, we're, we're way out of uh, Artie right now. And planes, that's really bad. Sorry guys, we'll get in there, we'll get there. We're still technically, we'll say we're still in a depression. Shh, don't tell them the truth though. Nice, help out, help out, help out. Actually, at this point, I don't really care. Help out across the entire line, because they're attack. What the heck? They're attacking across the entire line, so it doesn't even matter to us. There you go. Something like that. Let's figure out what works. I don't really care. End of the fray, my friends. Arsenal democracy. Hmm. The Japanese threat, yeah. Not bad. We have to be at war for that stuff, though. Uh-oh. Oh, we actually discovered stuff here. Oh, Bart, you coming? You wanted to do stuff around here? No, no, no. Excavation is nice. Happy 1940. We're going to invest in more millies currently because that'll be good. 1940, basically. Get some more research speed. Thank you. Oh, we're finding stuff, my friends. No convoys today, you pieces of garbage. Is, is he getting at least some sort of combat experience? Please tell me he is. That's all I want him to get is combat experience right now. Man, that's so bad. we got to wait a little longer for this. It's fine. Oh, we need more manpower, too. Which makes sense, but whatever. Um, light tanks. I'm not going to lower that. I will lower this one, though. We don't need this, this many trucks. We will need more later on, but right now we'll be fine. Um, yeah, I just got to wait for more of this stuff. Make more millies, more millies, more millies. Nice, nice, nice. I mean, these guys are looking really bad. But if you stop training now, you know, it's good. We can go in it, too, anyways. So it's fine. Alright, so we'll go with one there. We'll go with one there. And one there. Obviously, we don't have nearly enough for all this stuff right now, but whatever. Um, actually, can you duplicate yourself? No, you cannot. You guys. God dang it. You can. I don't want to send them in before they're really ready, and they're looking very injured, so... Yeah. Um, we can try it, though. We might be able to win here, maybe. Uh, sure, guys, sure. Why not? Oh, man, look at all this stuff around here. Oh, my goodness. Mexican convoys go burr. 14 of them died. Holy crap. 14 more. Oh, I love it. The Union of Britain convoys go bye, bye, bye. Better radars would be good for our ships. Get some more, even more research speed with this stuff on here. I don't care, guys. That's fine. 
Then again, our convoys are probably going to go bird as well. Oh, hello! Hello! We found the Chilean Navy, I think? Yep, Syndicalist Republic of Chile. Sink them, boys! We got them! We sunk two battleships and three destroyers in exchange for nothing. We sunk three armored cruisers, seven destroyers, two cruisers, and four more convoys. I love America. America rules the waves. Oh, we don't need more wars, but for now, it's fine. Did we actually get Tijuana? Nice. I think my dad's been down there before. It was a very long time ago, though. Very, 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 very long time ago. They ain't attacking. What's wrong with them? Mm, I could send you to Mexico, but I'm not going to. That, that'd be insane. Canada's lucky that we avoided the Civil War this time around. They very lucky. You should be able to win down here. They can't... Yeah. They're, they're not too weak. They have you know, up to four divisions there. Division over big business support. It's known by most Democrats that economic reform is necessary to preserve American integrity to this end. Democrats differ on the agency the government must take towards existing industries that are ailing. A proposed civil works program to electrify the Southwest using hydroelectric power hit a snag as Democrats cannot agree on the role of public works in the marketplace. The works must would be able to undercut private electricity companies because it would be able to cross state borders and build dams on the public land. Conservative Democrats oppose such intrusions as these, saying that it's like of violates states' rights to govern trade. More liberal-minded Democrats hold fast that the necessity of potential public works outweigh the risks. Um, I don't want to go any more market liberal, so we'll probably go the other one. Conservative Democrats went out for now. Wow, crap. Ah, uh, we're not even gonna go to Chile maybe yet, but we're just torching all the convoys. I love it. On um, the beaches, extend lend lease. The on town badly requires our support, and they shall receive it with the arms we have built. Nice. Good luck with that, guys. You're going to need it. All right. Shock and awe, baby. I like them. Shock and law. Shock and law? Shock and awe. Close enough. Whatever. Something about law. Oh, we actually went down there. Look at that. Huh. Yeah, we got to be careful about Mexico. They're still not that weak. Tucson. Two sons. Close enough. Nice. Rally public support. Eh, we don't need more market liberal support for now. We building up a butt ton. A huge butt ton of civvies. 2,000 been lost. Of course, Japan might call, go to war with us eventually, too. But we'll see what when that happens. Very, very nice. Cut these guys off. That'd be great. And we can probably read some more convoys then. Oh, hello. People are actually attacking down there. Look at that. All right, 1940, let's grab some more gun stuff. That'd be great, 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 great. How are we doing over here? We are definitely trying to help hold out. Holy crap. These guys are insane. Make them 40s then. Make them big and thick. Harding, learning a lot. Craig, hopefully doing okay. And Kruger, just kind of hanging out. Yeah, these uh, red Indians going crazy. Great Caucasian state. I guess it's no longer so great. Hey, look at that. Nice. Sure, guys, sure. Nice. Beat them up. Beat them up. Oh, Union of Austin joined them. I'm not too worried about that. Smelly Butter been wounded. All right. Can't go to War Economy, which kind of sucks. you think we'd be able to, but okay. You know, since we're here, do limited conscription anyways. On top land lease. Oh, we'll follow that up with on the beaches. Our enemies must fear American soldier landings on the shores, and to that end, we must work to ensure that we have the, they we have the skill and power to take advantage of our longer reach. Nice, very good. Oh yeah, free dockyards. Yes, please. We cut them off. Awesome. Mm hmm. Oh, we definitely need to do more. Oh my gosh, this sucks. This stuff sucks. We need to make better carriers. Oh my goodness. But hey, at least we've got Raider One. It's fine. It's good enough for now. How about Dreadnoughts? Um, they're okay. We could use Red R, but other than that, these guys are definitely okay. There's nothing here that we can really change up, so. They definitely slow us down, but whatever. Whatever. It is what it is. Oh, we're, 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 we're literally propagating up the entire South African economy here. I love it. There you go. You should be fine. Honestly, if we did a general attack, we could probably win. Well, mm, I want to wait till this side's done first. Gosh, that's fine. Um, honestly, you guys head on all the way down here to the pause. And you guys go all the way down to here. Fine. We should have that taken care of. I'm not worried about that at all. Except for that, maybe. But let's see. Any other planes? Oh, yes. Yes. 
Yes. Nice. Get him some planes. I know I already sent some planes over there, but still. Oh, they're actually pushing in just a slight bit. On top of at least. On the beaches, baby. On the beaches. Where are we going to meet them? We're going to meet them on the beaches. Now, guys, I know you're doing the best you can, but you have still got to beat the crap out of these guys. Riga's gone. You know, if that's the case, I'm just going to throw you guys here, too. Here. Get all them planes. You need them. You really do need them right now. We're doing a very good amount of damage. Yeah, we still can't do anything here. They got a lot of soldiers. What has the Dominion of Delhi been doing? Why do you suck so much? There goes Georgia Kingdom. Nice. Still winning down there. Very mildly. Very, very mildly. We are making sure our deficits go down very quickly. Except for artillery, which sucks. But, you know, it is what it is. We're going to need more rubber. Um, here you go. There you go. Everyone get in there involved. Shell the living crap out of them. Lucian Truscott. Fortress Buster. Bust them, baby. Bust those babies. Hello. Don't let them escape. Oh, good God. We got more divisions. Thank goodness. Very good, very good, very good. We're building even more millies up. And some dockyards, too, which is actually really nice. But some civvies as well. But, uh, let's see. Get some radar and get some more stuff there. Thank you. Come again. After on the beaches, uh, bet boist boister bolster the dominion. They only get two thousand manpower. They probably don't need that lion and the eagle. Well, since they're there first and they're already dying, we'll help them out first. The dominion of India is powerful but lacking in industry and experience. We will send both so they may defend democratic interests there. Absolutely. Um, we're actually looking at how bad guns are looking actually extremely bad. So we gotta prop these guys up a little more. We're done with them dockyards, which is nice. More millies, more millies, more, 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 more. Hey, no, let's do it. We'll do two more, two. Hmm. This is a job for you guys. You'll do fine. All right, not bad. I really just don't want to do a general attack. Because over here, it's going to cost a lot of calories. I mean, we're America. It'd be fine, but... I don't know. As American, I don't want to lose too many guys. Let me try it. Okay, try it. Well, we're not necessarily winning. Nematron is invented. The chaos and instability of the last few decades finally subsiding as America triumphantly rises from the ashes of the Great Depression has led Edward Condon, a nuclear physicist, to have plenty of spare time on his hands. Westinghouse Electric has brought to the purview of many American cities the Nimitron, an invention of the previously mentioned Edward Condon. Rather than providing economic or tactical significance, it instead provides endless entertainment. It is also able to simulate a game of Nim, where it takes the role of one of the players. A player can turn off one or more of the bulbs in a row, thus the machine takes a turn doing the same, and so on. The last extinguisher lies the winner. A person who beats this machine no easy Feet, or receive a coin minted with the phrase Nim Champion. Due to its novelty and the prospect of an albeit minor award, has become very popular as a means to both spend time and also forget about the troubles of reconstruction. Little by little, our future gets a little brighter. Great. The Anton Rex back to me. If you want to go that, please go ahead. We'll be there. Nice. How is this going? Is this going okay? It's sort of going okay ish. Are they doing last stand? They're not okay. They're not, but holy crap, it does look like they are. I mean, overall, I'd say this is a, generally a success. It's not a massive success, but it's a still a success because we're... They're doing last end in some of these places. They have to be. We lost 19,000. How many Mexicans have we... Jesus Christ, 113,000. And those guys, the Halifax Conference. Everyone about that, please go ahead. Boom. Because even though we're fighting over the Rio Grande, we're not doing that well. In other areas, we're doing quite well. Not over here, but still. Uh, hey, we actually broke through. Look at that. By breaking over, we're doing... That one failed. It always fails. Always, always, always fails. And your guys' campaigns, let me know in the comments. Like, when you do the Halifax conference, or you see it, does it always fail for you too? Because every single campaign I do, it always fails. Without question. It always, always, always fails. At least for me, so. At least that's what it seems like. How strong is Mexico? 92,000, no convoys left. Stock, they're out of equipment for the most part. Just like us, sort of, but... I mean, way more artillery and guns, so... William McAdoo's died. 
prominent politician William Gibbs McAdoo's passed away in his home in California. McAdoo left behind him a controversial legacy. Many Americans blame him, among others, for the start of the Depression and the political crisis that came from it. Well, on one hand, he was and is praised for his regards in, and work in regards to a number of progressive issues, notably women's suffrage. He was never able to get Prohibition passed, something he pushed for several times in Congress to no avail. <clears throat> He leaves me an undivided legacy. So, despite this, Hubert Hoover has remarked on McAdoo's passing. He has offered his condolences to his family and praise his work. He'll be missed dearly. <coughs> we need more millies. We only have 500 factories. That ain't enough. My goodness, we are just destroying everything in here in the, in the waters. I love it. Skill level 4, very nice. Alright, so at this point, we're going to stop attacking like crazy. I want you all to hold. Because we've lost too many men already. We've lost 64,000 there already. Mostly to Mexico, but eh, some of the Union Britain, Barty Commune. We've killed off 230,000, basically. The German Empire's killed off, so, oh, maybe 170,000. So it's roughly 3 to 1 casualty ratio. We've got enough tanks, you're going to hold, son. Where's that other light tank? L the tank that could. Actually, you know what? Get some supplies here, too. We need them. Um, radar is still doing okay. How's how are the air? There's no air. Okay. Okay then. Oh hello. Ah yeah. Nine more. Ben's willing to destroy or sunk. Yeah, I'll do that one too. Why not? Both of the Dominion, and the Lion, and the Eagle. The Lion and the Eagle stand as one, and our economic cabinets will make to discuss possible investments and munitions we can undertake together. Awesome, 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 man. Oh man, these guys are just wailing themselves against us, which I love. Don't get me wrong, but still. How's your superiority doing? We doing great. We doing fantastico. Oh, Venezuela's gone. Um, honestly, I don't deserve it. I think we'll just give it to the West Indies. So they can do with it, so. How much score do we need? Not that much. There you go, guys. Have a good time with it. Awesome. Lion and the Eagle. Followed up with Mediterranean ports. The ports of national France must be invested in if they are to hope to take back the rifle nation from the Syndicalist menace. Absolutely. I'll look at this one, too. But we can wait for that one. 1940 Progressive Party primary. The Progressive Party is set to run another election, with many the primary beginning between Secretary of Agriculture Henry Wallace, uh, Wisconsin Governor F uh, Philip La Follette, the representative and former VP candidate Quentin Roosevelt, and Oregon Senator Charles L. McNary. Well done, Mr. Wallet. Oh, let's go with Quentin. Also, what happens if we go with Quentin here? Our friend named Quentin. Maybe we'll go progressive. I don't know. The 1940, 1940 El Centro Earthquake. An earthquake has occurred along the southern border of the U.S. state of California and Mexico state of Baja, California. The epicenter is located in the town of El Centro in America, though it has also affected the homes on the Mexican side of the border. Nine people have been killed in the earthquake, and over 200 have been seriously injured. The total damages amount to over six million U.S. dollars. The earthquake damaged quite a bit of uh, irrigation within the region for farms within the region, which is likely to have ripple effects somewhere else. It was the first major earthquake, but recorded by a strong motion seismograph located next to a fault rupture. Oh, the humanity! Oh crap. That sucks. You're just telling me we need more millies then. 1940 Republican primary. Unsurprisingly, Herbert Hoover has decided not to seek a fourth term, unfortunately, and has thus stepped down to allow a new man to become the party's presidential nominee. Robert Taft and John Brooke have been nominated for the party's right wing, while Thomas Dewey is running on the party's left. Um, Robert Taft. Is Robert Taft like the other Taft? Thomas Dewey. I'm gonna go with Taft. Let's see. Let me try Taft. Taft it up. Mexico looks like it's really weak right now. They have no more equipment. I got plenty of manpower. Are we good to go? Oh, yeah, we even got this to be a lot worse, actually. <laughs> Medium tanks are coming along as well. Well, we could try. Oh, we're suffering from attrition. That sucks. How would you all force the attack? We ain't stopping here. 1940 Democratic Primary. There are a number of candidate or number of men who are running to be this year's Democratic Party candidate for the presidency. The main contenders being New York Governor Al Smith, former Speaker of the House John Nance Garner, Senator Harry Byrd, and Douglas, General Douglas MacArthur, and Liberal Wendell Wilkie. Who the hell gets picked? I want to go with John Nance Garner. Wait, but wait, there's no John Nance Garner. What the heck? Henry Byrd, Harry Byrd. I mean, not Henry. Harry Byrd, Senator MacArthur would be nice. Wendell Wilkie. Um. Hmm. Hmm. I kind of want to go with MacArthur, but... Yeah, we'll do MacArthur. Why not? We'll see what happens. Now we finally have air superior up here, too. That's good. Surprising that we just can't win down here. I don't understand it. Oh, something's happened. I think Venezuela's being released. 
Oh, no, hungry. That's hungry. All right, so be it. Oh, this is a mountain. This kind of sucks. I don't care how many casualties it takes. I really don't. Finland, Mexico, you're going to lose your entire population if you keep this up, Me Mexico. Even with air superiority, you still can't win MacArthur. That sucks. My god, I hate some... We need to get some logistics companies next, but that's what we're going to go for next. Logistics just suck here. Mexico, fix your god dang roads. Seriously. You should easily be able to win here. No questions asked. Yeah, no more combos around here. Sucks, but too. Still. 104,000 losses. Mexico is going to burn, baby. Alright, so after this one, we're going to go grab this one immediately. Oh, we already have them. We need to get better ones anyways. We still have logistics issues with 40s? Are you kidding me, man? Let him attack us. Let him attack us. Oh, and we have this one too. Mediterranean ports. Followed up with what? Persian influence? European recovery program? No, not that one yet. Stabilize the east? That might not be too bad. Tokyo talks more Japan. Uh, let's do something else. Mechanization, army rangers. Anything for supply consumption? Probably not. Oh, that's not bad. More organization is pretty good. Uh, motorized production, gas tank competition, nothing there. Take the fight abroad, land auction stuff, military research, victory in the Civil War, military spending, liberty bonds, this will defend. Nothing there I really want to click on right now. And there's nothing on the left here either, right? Yeah, there's nothing on the left. That kind of sucks. Um, mm, nothing on the right here either. Hmm. Well, look at Sandra has M1. Yeah, what's that one? The M1 designation infantry weapon has been in trial for years. Wait, uh, wasting contracts. The final decision on which design will go on to production will be answered in a timely manner right now. Well, we're going to wait for that one. How's, this, how's Andy doing? Yeah, that's good. not great. So right now we're just going to wait for more guns, artillery, and support equipment. That's all we got to do is wait, so. It's alright with us. How's the war going on in Europe? Germany's slowly dying. Um... Well, Austria's gone. That'd actually be pretty good for the Germans for that to happen. Vienna's got to capitulate, so. We just got to wait. And what is what is the uh, supply for planes, equipment production? That's not bad. Why are you guys still just here doing nothing? Oh, these are tactical bombers, by the way, so. Alright, do that and get that one too. Good. And your audit review, invest 100 PP. Ison is gone. That is fine with us. What are we gonna do? Uh, just build more. Just build 30% faster. Is really extremely nice, actually. All right, not bad. Go cool. add on over there too. Oh, you guys are just—I forgot to. That, okay, there you go. Now you raid the living crap out of them. Hopefully, we'll find a lot of good stuff we can raid, but maybe not. Oh, stuff over there, not bad. Come on, Mexico. You wanted the war, right? My god. We need Monterey immediately. Yeah, screw it. We're going for Monterey. We need them now. Uh, majority here. One, three, two. Well, you get three here, so. Ah, it doesn't matter. Force it. Like, seriously, I don't care what happens. You need to take this now. Oh, we actually went down there, too. That's good. Uh, sending these guys over here would be a probably a big mistake, so. We'll wait. And get up here, just in case they enabling invade us. We need Monterey so we can actually build stuff here. Does it have a fort? Nope, it does not. Nope, oh, what's up in and over here? Oh, we actually lost something. Oh, that sucks. We lost a sub. I mean, these guys have got to be running out of equipment, right? Gandhi's got to run out. Mediterranean ports, that's nice. Centralized fire control is good. Standardize the M1. Convoys go bye bye and more recon. That's good. Not too worried about the planes though. Have you taken it yet? Jesus Christ, take it. There we go, finally. Thank God we can get some more supply through here. Alright, so guns, we're doing okay. We gotta wait. I wanna make, make some more stuff first before we start attacking again because I'm just gonna unleash something very mighty against them. How dare bads attacking other guys? Alright, so be it, whatever. Yeah, just, we're going to be pretty much just holding out here for now. Uh, everywhere we look, we're, we're defending, pretty much, so... 
Uh, Satsy and Sex is defending. Old Hickory's defending. Well, sort of. Oh, up there's not doing so well either. You guys are doing okay too. Indian heads not looking good at all. Wow. Hey, look at that. More convoys. Good. Average standardized M1 defense contracts. Not too bad. Motorized production. I think we'll go with mechanization program. It's going to hurt ourselves for a little bit, but that's okay. The speed Chaffee is promising on new vehicles will require a systematic change in how we'll build and maintain military vehicles. Sounds pretty good to us. All right. And since we're here anyways, these armor divisions, they're okay. But we're going to throw on some uh, logistics and such. They're going to need them. How many medium tanks? I might just make these guys 40 combo with right now. We have 300 some. Our Dark Star found days of Europe. If you want to do that, please go ahead. I don't want to get this book on my desk. I like that image. I wonder where that's from. Is that the... That's the symbol of Führerreich. The Vul Vulcanism instead of the swastika. Huh. Alright, I guess it makes sense. And you guys are just getting beat the crap out of beat The crap being out of you. That's alright though. You guys are looking a lot better actually. Hopefully looking quite a bit better. Uh, bottleneck, is it just the infrastructure here? No! That's actually really good right now. Cool. So don't make any more millies, especially for the artillery that we need. Oh, baby. 6,000 pieces of artillery. Honestly, like, how long are we going to be out of this deficit for guns? It shouldn't be, honestly, that long. Yeah, less than, a little more than two months. It's not bad. Ooh, we lost another sub. That sucks. That's what they're there for. Uh, standardized M1. Followed up with mechanization. Maybe we'll race down this side as fast as possible. Oh, man, look at that lag. Oh, boy. Followed up. Oh, Wait. Robert Taft, staunch... Well, no wonder our economy's not doing as good. Master ideology drift? Staunch constitutionalist. Why did you become a... President? Wait, I didn't say I wanted Taft, necessarily. I just want to see what the election's going to be. We should have elections soon, right? Anyways, increased military production. The gratefully unemployed are in our factories toiling towards victory, through though they might not believe that. Where propaganda has failed, monetary incentive will work to increase production. Absolutely. What's, what, who else we find here? I don't care. That's fine. I don't really care. No, these guys are gonna, they're definitely going to lose now. Huh. <laughs> they're definitely going to lose. How's Europe looking? Well, looks like nothing really changed. Except the Russians keep pushing in, so. I might go to limited exports as well. We'll see. I probably will go down there. Um, it says they can win. Let's go. also grab this. Let's, I want to do this for a while, too. Office of Strategic Services. If you can think, if you think you can come up with a better name, please let me know in the comments below. Do you think the OSS is a good name for our nation right now? If you think so, please let me know in the comments below. But if you think you can come up with something better, please let me know. All right. At this point, I, I want to see if we can try another attack. They're not looking too good. We've got a lot more resources. Okay, maybe not just yet. Uh, can we throw any more planes on? Any more planes at all? Yes. There we go. It looks green to start off with, but will that stay? I have no idea. We'll force it. Just, just we can at least win there once, please. Just once. I'm not asking very much. Just once. I know it's going to be very costly to do this, but I don't care. How are you not winning? I know it's mountains and such, but still. They're literally doing force defense. Look at that. They have to be. They have to be. I could be wrong, though. 1940, uh, get some more arty. We've lost 119,000. We've killed off a quarter million of them, so. Look at that. Yeah, they're literally doing force defense there. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at all these. Convoys are nice. Seize your civilian trucks. After Chaffee announced his motorization program for the Army, a proposal was sent to the Secretary of Defense by the War Department to decide on the requisition of civilian vehicles in order to supply our fast growing army. With his approval, we've begun seizing vehicles from tr civilian populace, although to a surprise, some proud patriots line up next to our soldiers to volunteer their vehicles for the incoming fire. Well, not all of their vehicles have proven to be useful for us. We've managed to requisition a fair number of trucks, which can either be modified to transport troops with ease or which are sturdy enough to transport troops at home at once. We thank you for your service and followed up with tank competition. Tank designs are a dime a dozen. We need a streamlined system to determine which design will best fill its role in combat. I absolutely, and we'll spend a little bit more time. We honestly should be able to knock them out right now. Uh, 1940 is a little bit too out of time. Let's grab some carriers. Better carriers. Yeah, there we go. And encirclement is very nice. I think we've broken them in the north, at least, for now. 
Get down here, get down here, get down here, get down here right now. Four divisions. Oh my goodness, they're gonna be able to break through. Hey, at least we overran a few of them, that's not bad. Nice. Because I want to be able to get spies and such, so. A wild spear is very nice. Keep going, guys. You're doing okay? You're doing alright? How many more divisions does Mexico have? Too many. Keep these guys in place. Nice. Get in there, get in there, get in there, get in there. Roads, 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 boys. Get some port. Get a port in there, too, just in case. Get some planes in there as well. Alright, so that's the case. I think I'm going to throw these guys somewhere else. Uh, maybe we'll throw them in Spain, but really, the defensive line is really, really good. We could try to begin it. Oh, hello. A naval invasion. Uh, I don't know, man. Then again, we do have people around here. Cuba? Cuba needs to be taken out. They're now on the Reich's Pact. The authoritarian Democrats. Creation of a sniper program? If you want to be that, please go right ahead. I'm going to propose it. Uh, who else can we take out here? Cuba, Costa Rica, Haiti, Dominican Republic. All right. Uh, we lost another sub. That makes sense. It sucks, but it makes sense. Harding's not doing great now. Probably a bad idea, but do that anyways. All right. Would it be easier to take out Haiti or Dominican Republic? No manpower. And how many divisions? Two. These guys would be easier to take out. Hmm, I might actually go do this first. We'll see about that. Increased military production. Followed up with... Followed Mexico City tank competition. Followed up with... Armored Cavalry. Top officers have long, had long had experience in the cavalry and designed and planned to transform motorized and tanks to fit new models. Working closely with the government, the military, Henry Ford, and other industrials, we can make this plan a reality. I'm going to go ahead and read a few more things here, because I'm going to play just a little bit more off-screen. Oh, well, maybe not. The 1940 presidential election. They're here finally. Thankfully, it's nowhere near as contentious as the previous election, and there's no limit in perspective of the country splitting along ideological seams. With this election, the National Par Unity Party coalition has been dissolved. Polls are closed, and winning White House and a number of seats in Congress is Progressive Party, Republican Party, Democratic Party. Um, I'd like to go to the Republican Party, but we already went out max market level before, so. Uh, I think go to the Democrat Party. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. It doesn't make sense. We'll go Democratic, though. Because then we can go Democrats elected for now. Because I, I went down this path. And since we're going down here, I won't go down this path again. And it says, it says, on ton support, so why not? Well, fair, we can do this stuff in another campaign. Especially when we do the progressive stuff, so. What is this? Raymond Atkins? Hello, Raymond. They're still hate him, but we're going to go with Raymond first. Um, so, what is this? Actually, can we get, uh... Douglas MacArthur. Oh! I thought you were leading the... Hmm. Can you be president and be a general at the same time? That seems like a lot of work to do. That seems like a lot of work. He looks really unhappy. Lucian, no wonder he got wounded. Uh, cool. Oh, in here. So, from here on out, I want to read a few more things uh, that I'll do off screen. Oh, okay, never mind. Next is dead. So, uh, what are we going to do? Let's say we're going to do our cavalry. Like we did already. Army Rangers. Training regiments to acclimatize soldiers into new environments will enable American soldiers to fight effectively no matter where the course of war may take them. The Rangers are a newly proposed force conceptualized around ad adaptation to harsh terrain with the purpose of reintroducing their advancement slowly to the Army as a whole. Let us found this organization. Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. Anti-air might be really good, but we can also grab some of that. No. Over here, yes. Followed up with... Uh, Ford Observers, of course. My bad. And there you go. Cool. Walkie-talkies. Usually military equipment has strong names. Walkie-talkie? How did that slip through the system? Our generals claim that this new untethered communication device will enable our troops to speak effectively when they're in the field. And we'll call it walkie-talkie? You bet we will. Defense Logistics Agency? The layout of the U.S. may be suited for interstate commerce, but if it is unprepared for massive deployments. We must correct this. Defense contractors? Private enterprise become an undeniable part of our military industry. It's time we drew up contracts to see what they can do to help us. American auto industry? Since the invention of the automobile, it's been taken up in earnest by the people of America. Most of the factories for cars are in the north where the syndicates are running things. However, Jay Kaiser has moved north so we can encourage other companies to follow in his footsteps. Sounds like a good idea. And Air Force debate. 
The Air Force having the funds being necessary to expand lacks vital direction of leadership needed to effectively advance, with numerous requests to fund research. <clears throat> and competing minds insist that the key to victory is in the skies. So from here, we're going to go ahead and do this as well. So, And I want to get this last book before we end the episode too. So, uh, There you go. This is probably a really bad idea, but we're going to do it anyways. Here you go. Thank you. Come again. If y'all can get down here, that'd be great. Go and improve the airbase, get some more uh, radar stations, stuff like that. And we don't have nearly enough military factories already. So, Oklahoma, welcome to the military production. New Mexico as well. Thank you. Followed up with what? Southern Investments. Cool. A conservative wing of the Democratic Party is a platform involving a number of laws and policies that uh, seek to pass it. All right, we'll do that too. Sounds good to me. Whatever. Coalition of the Victory Book Campaign. Or cancellation, I mean. Well, the Victory Book Campaign has managed to pave way for the institutions like the Council on Books and Wartime, the War Book Panel. The campaign itself was beginning to draw a lot of criticism from the Army. The campaign was unfortunately not well suited for combat units as the bulky card covers were found to be unsuitable for use in the field and many of the books donated were deemed unfitting by the revisionist or vision committees. From over almost 11 million books scattered in the last year, an unacceptably high percentage of these books were unsuitable, with the VBC staffers having discarded nearly ha half of them. While the idea is still in the air, the Army has decided to order the VBC to come to a close, but has begun plans with the, the CBW to create a new plan to entertain soldiers. Something ends, something begins. Tank competition. While our tanks in the assembly line have been proven useful, Jaffe considers the job far too spread for them to be effective right now, as our tanks are too slow to be used to take advantage of breakthroughs, but not armored enough to sustain anti-tank pro pro of projectiles, let alone tank to tank combat. Since achieving both is simply unachievable with the current state of our nation, we can, however, focus on one aspect so that our tanks may serve a specific role. Hard or fast? Um, you get more speed. Actually, what are our forms right, like right now? Um, that's pretty bad. Striking hard. You get a lot more armor. Reliability. Max speed goes down. Or production cost goes down. Production cost means nothing to me. Um, you get boss all this. I'm gonna go with this one. Now it's back over here. Cool. We have a little bit less speed, less reliability, less armor, but I'm going to work on that as off screen a little bit more. But hey, if you enjoyed the episode, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below. Hopefully tomorrow we won't lose the Dominion of Delhi, even though we probably will. And we're going to be working on Central America, the Caribbean, and actually going to the British Isles. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.